my last video, we talked about life insurance and decreasing responsibility to the point where we don't need life insurance anymore. And the only way we can get to that point is through properly investing our money and getting out of debt. Now, in order for me to explain investments, I first want you to understand the rule of 72 and the power of compound interest. Now, the number 72 is a magic number in which you take an interest rate and you divide it into 72, it shows you how long it takes for your money to double. So, in a bank, they usually give you no more than 1% within your checking or savings account, but we're going to be nice today and we're going to say that they're going to give you 3% on your money. Now, I'm going to use myself for example. I'm 22 years of age and let's say I had about $10,000 to invest into the bank. Now, in 24 years, I will only have $20,000. But let's take a look at a CD, which stands for Certificate of Deposit, but I like to call it Certificate of Depreciation. Now, usually, they will give you no more than 4%, but again, we're being nice today. We're going to give them 6%. So in 12 years, I only have... 20,000, 24 years, 40,000, and in 36 years at the age of 58, I'll have a whopping $80,000 at the age of 58. Now let's take a look at mutual funds because there are some mutual fund programs out there that are averaging about 12%. So you take this 12, you divide it into 72, and it will give you 6. So in six years, my money would have already doubled. And at the age of 58 and 36 years, I'll have $640,000. Now, I want you to keep in mind that OPM is the way that banks make money. And OPM stands for Other People's Money. So when we deposit our money into the bank, because of the Glass-Steagall Act is no longer in place, they are able to take our money and invest it in the global economy. So, at the end of that 36-year period, they'll make about $640,000, and they'll be able to give me twenty dollars to $25,000, because they've already made about $600,000 on my money already. So... It's funny how sometimes we do get excited about the free toaster or the free luggage that the bank will give us, but it's only because they know that they'll be able to make this kind of money with the money that we've deposited inside of their bank. Now, some people may look at this and say that $560,000 is a very big difference, and it is very big impact. And in order to understand why it is a big difference, we have to understand compound interest. Now, here we have future value, present value, and the interest rate, and this is the formula. It's the present value multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate, which is 12, and that will equal your future value. So again, I have the $10,000, and I multiply that by 1.12, and it will give me $11,200. So in the first year of me investing my $10,000 inside of a mutual fund, I will earn $1,200 on my $10,000. So let's say we wanted to look at how much money you would gain after two years. It's the same formula. You take the $10,000, you multiply it by 1.12 to the second power, because we're looking at two years, and that will equal up to $12,544. So within the first year, I was able to earn $1,200. But in the second year, I was able to earn $1,344, which all together gave me $12,544. Now some people believe that compound interest is very complicated, but as you can see, it's very simple if you know the formula.